Introducing the brand new Price Chopper Rewards. Packed with new ways to save and new ways to spend your savings. Watch your savings add up every time you shop. Whether you spend a little or a whole lot. Just check your Price Chopper app to see the offers we have for you this week. Then choose to spend them at checkout or at the pump. Download the Price Chopper app now and start saving today. I mean, obviously, I mean, quite, quite the ending there. Uh, just uh, how that return feel? It felt good because I knew that once he caught that ball and I seen that squib kick, I seen that hole open up and I knew that it was going to go right to the house. I knew right before the game, the kick was going to come, I said to myself, somebody sent me back to the house. And he sent me back to the house. Uh, and just a uh, big first half, too. A uh, couple of rushing touchdowns, about 140 yards in the first half. Just how do you really feel about uh how did you really feel about your first half there? You know, I felt really good, honestly. The whole line did their job. But the one without them, I just can't do none of that up there. And of course, God always helped me too, but I didn't trust my line. And we, like I said, we had a good week of practice with the line. And I knew that this was going to be a tough game with tough yards. I just trust my whole line, and they got me to where I needed to be. You know, Daniel had a couple of scores in the first half. I mean, just kind of seeing him healthy too, just mm -hmm. how nice that to see. Yeah, that's that's a very good thing to see. Like you said, last year he sat out the whole season. And, of course, whenever that happens, you know, you got that anger and that fire built up in you. So once it comes out, uh, you see on that kick return and the other touchdowns, he released everything that was held back from last year. Uh, and just kind of going forward from here, uh, just what, what kind of the team really learn about this game? Uh, we learned that through anything, we can make it. Like I said, last year we had a challenge. We had to face adversity with different injuries. And, again, this year we just know that when pressure comes, we step up without pressure, there's no diamond. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. And, uh, just kind of take me through that return. and. Uh... I got you. <laughs> I, well, I mean, going out there, I really didn't expect him to squib kick it, especially to me, normally, because like, they scouted me and everything. But once I seen that ball bouncing to me, I knew I had to take my shot. And I knew I had to put the team and, you know, try to give me, do my best to score. And then seeing those two holes, it was like kind of two holes back to back. And I just bust one, and then on the sideline, cut up. Still, I knew I was going. I knew they wouldn't be able to catch me. Hey, had the return touchdown or receiving touchdown, rushing touchdown, mm -hmm. is this just, just kind of, I, I mean, know, yeah, your, your yeah. skill set? I know, I mean, three touchdowns, I've only had three touchdowns, I want to say three times in my career, and this being a game winner, especially, it's, it's very special. Sure. But just being healthy, just how, how good does it really feel? I mean, being it? healthy, I mean, I'm so grateful. I mean, honestly, last year, I mean, I missed out on a lot. You know, losing two games, I really thought I could have helped the team and, you know, get them the dub, but, you know, just being out here today and, like, you know, we're, we're doing it all for my team and, you know, putting it on the line, you know, making the play. So, especially when you saw that. Uh, just kind of what, what can you kind of learn from that fourth quarter and just I mean, we got to finish better. I mean, especially this whole second half. We didn't come out that well. We got the first touchdown on our first drive, but after that, we just kind of pulled out the gate. But, I mean, it doesn't matter. We stayed as a team. We kept our heads up and we kept fighting. And, I mean, we finished strong. So, that's all I can say. And everybody blocked me on that last play, and I'm just so grateful. Okay, yeah, that's just about all I had. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I nearly touched on? Or? I mean, not really. I mean, I want to tell them all my teammates for the block, and they did. That's my boy, Brian Barry, you know. Yeah, that's it. Uh, obviously, I mean, coming down to the wire there, I mean, the team showed a lot of fight to be in the position to win it there. Just, I mean, just the fight your team showed, just how proud of you are you? Yeah, we're all just so proud team. of it. Yeah, I mean, they showed so much mental toughness. Um, you know, the fact that they 
came back out and played the way they did the second half. You know, and, and we knew, we just kept telling them, you, you got to get rid of the negative plays, got to get rid of the mistakes. And they did a really good job with that second half. And, uh, you know, I'm just uh, I'm proud of this team now. I mean, a loss is a loss. We're going to learn a lot from it. Um, we're going to move on. No, I mean a number of fourth down conversions on that last or second to last drive too. Uh, really seeing Cooper just growing up kind of before your eyes. Just what what did he show you tonight? Uh, a lot of grit, a lot of tough work. Uh, that's what he's going out. He's, he's uh, such a good kid, man. He works his butt off, and uh, he's only going to get better. Than that. No, I mean just from the first quarter, really. I mean, seeing a guy like Quinn go down. I mean, having to fight a lot of adversity through that. Just uh, how do you really yeah, feel your team uh, responded? I mean, 42 points isn't normally what you want to see from the defense, but I mean, there's some big time plays in there too, and they really kind of settled down after that first six minutes. Uh, just Carson making that big kick. Uh, what, what do you kind of see from your yeah, defense? Yeah, no, second half, uh, defense played, played great. You know, they, they, just, uh, they really started to believe it, and uh, you know, what the reasons were, and, and really started to fly around, play a lot faster. And so, um, you know, again, just coming out of the second half, I'm proud of the entire group showing no acceptance. Well, that two-point conversion play, is that something you've kind of had drawn up for a while? Uh, yeah, we've had that one. Uh, we've actually used that in the past. Um, uh, but yeah, the, you know, it's something we work on you know, each week. Uh, and just kind of going forward, uh, just kind of O'Quinn is next yeah. week, obviously another huge game. Yep, another huge game. Um, I have no doubt the group's going to bounce back uh, starting them off. Okay, I mean, that's pretty much all I have, but uh, thank you. Uh, just kind of, what did, what did you really see from your viewpoint on that uh, return? To yeah, I mean, uh, Daniel Jackson is a special player uh, with the ball in his hand. We, we flipped him up to that second to last throw there because we thought they were going to squib it. Um, and he doesn't need much to go. He found a little crease and was able to make make a play that uh, won us the game. And no, just him being healthy now. Just oh, uh, you know, he, he, he was running off the field. He gave me a hug right after the touch, touch. And I said, Coach, I got you. Um, you know, that's the type of player he is. Last year, you know, he, he, he had to go through some heartache. Uh, we we lost a couple games he felt like he could have helped us win. Um, so to see how he went through the whole rehab process and to see how he's playing early in the season makes me so proud of him because he's just such a great kid. Man, no, kind of building that lead. Um, Bryson had about 140 yards yeah. rushing in the first half. Uh, just what did you really see from yeah, him? Yeah, I mean, that, you know, that's what Bryson Cobbins does. He's done it for four years now for us. He's been playing since he was a freshman. Um, you know, he's another guy comes off the field and he tells us what he sees and tells us what he thinks he can get. And, you know, he usually always knows what to make the play when the ball's in the hand. I mean, we're having to fight a little bit of adversity there, especially in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Just uh, what can you guys kind of learn from that? Yeah, absolutely. That? I mean, you know, that's something that's, that's now two of our three games we've, we've had to fight through some adversity. Uh, week one against North and then tonight. You know, that makes your football team stronger. Um, if you can go through that early in the season, that's going to really help there down the stretch when you're trying to make a run at the end of the season. And I know defensively, Grant Fussell, a couple of interceptions. I think he already had one earlier this season, too. Uh, is he kind of one of those leaders defensively? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's the guy that started as a junior every game for us. And, you know, he's always one that's always around the ball. And we knew they were going to try to stretch us vertically because they're such a well-coached team. And they knew kind of where to attack us, and we were able to make some plays. Okay, I mean, I think that's most of what I have. Is there anything else yeah, you'd like no, to add?